Good morning, stingrays. Aloha. It's Miss Smith here for a special Saturday story time. Just waiting for a few people. <laughs> this is a surprise story time since I was having technical difficulties yesterday. I guess I wasn't good with my Facebook Live yet, but I tried today. And it looks like it's working. Hi, Miss Macy. Hi, Miss Mercedes. Good morning. <laughs> Maybe it'll be just the three of us. <laughs> to anyone who does come on or does watch later, I need to let you know that on Monday, you can come by Hanalei and we'll have work packets out for everyone um, by grade level. Just make sure when you come, you keep good social distancing. Um, as far as I know, you don't need to do anything other than pick up the packets, which will be right out in front of the office. Hi, Brookie. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so I have a few treats in my pocket, just in case, my dog just looked at me, just in case my dog hears a bird or something and Gizmo starts barking. All right, stingrays, <laughs> I think we better start story time. So, I have a lot of books at my house, but I do not have... <laughs> I do not have a lot of kids books anymore because all my kids are big. My, they're big boys now. So if you ever go in my classroom, you're going to see a lot of my classroom library books say Tyler Smith or Brett Smith or William right in there. So I was in a little bit of a pickle and I had to try and find a book or two here at home. And I looked in my son's baby box and I found something that I read to him a million times. It's a Lift the Flap book. It's called Where's Spot. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a goodie. And oops, you can see it says Tyler Smith right down there, just like my classroom books. So here we go. Where's Spot? That Spot, he hasn't eaten his supper. Where can he be? Is he behind the door? No. Is he inside the clock? No. Oop. It's an old book. Is he in the piano? No, no. Is he under the stairs? No. Uh oh, there's Gizmo. Is he in the closet? Ooh, ooh, ee, ee. No. Is he under the bed? No. Is he in the box? No, no, no. Oh, there's Spot. He's under the rug. Try the basket. Here he comes, running to the basket. His baby, her baby, his baby. Good boy, Spot. And it says Sally and Spot. And that is the story, Where's Spot by Eric Hill. 
we've had this book for a, my son will be turning 26 next mm. week so we've had it for over 20 years and um, it's a good one and I bet my son would still remember it we read it so many times I found a second story to share with you and it is not by a famous author or a published author but it is by a former Hanalei student my son Brett, he attended Hanalei from kindergarten to fifth grade, and he wrote a nice how-to book. Hi, Taylor, <laughs> former Hanalei Stingray. Good morning, everybody who's just joining. Good to see you all. So this book Brett wrote in first grade when he was in Mrs. Ireland's class. Maybe you know her. Maybe you've been in her class lovely lady. This book is called Legos by Brett. You can see it down there. And it says Lego Dino. I know how to make many Lego sets. One, get the instructions. Two, make it. Three, play with it. The end. And in the comments right here, Mrs. Ireland left him some comments and she said, I like how you did the one, two, and three parts, Mrs. Ireland. Um, I, I like how she gave him feedback and it made me think, what could you write a how-to book on? Maybe there's something you've been doing lately and you think, I know how to do that really well. It could be something like brushing your teeth that you do every day or maybe something special. Maybe you've been making popcorn or hot chocolate. Maybe you can make a, tell us how to make a Lego set. I think it would be really, really fun. So why don't you try to make a how-to book just like that? You can use one, two, three, four, five, six, however many steps you have. Or maybe you could um, do something like first, next, or last. If you have a really good idea, why don't you drop that in the comments? That would be great. I'd love to read your how-to books, hopefully really soon. Thank you so much for joining Stingray Storytime. And also, um, just for people who joined late, just putting it out there, you can pick up work packets at Hanalei. They'll be ready for your students, I believe, separated by grade level. Just come on over to Hanalei after 10 a.m.? I think it's 10 a.m. Oh. Anyhow, <laughs> 10 or 11. Oh, Miss Smith. Um, <laughs> you can pick up work packets. They'll be ready for you. Just when you come, make sure you maintain good social distancing. I hope everyone's safe and healthy, has, you have good quarantine snacks, and that we're all in this together and we can flatten the curve. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for coming. Oh, guess what? I don't know how to turn it off. Finish. Bye. Oh, Gizzy, come here. Come here. There you go. Want it? Come get it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Giz. Give the people what they want. Ah, he's such a bad boy. Here's Gizmo. Say bye, Gizmo. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>